Happy New Year, everybody. We're here in 2022. Dominic here with Rapino Real Estate. We're back in another year. We hope you're well, we hope you're safe, and thanks for joining us for yet another year of local business spotlights in the Buena Park Uptown neighborhood. What's unique about this one is it's run by two sisters who are local, and they're really, as we're on Argyle, they're the only coffee shop on the entire stretch here, and they have been for some time. They've been around for about four years, but there really wasn't any coffee options, and they're proud to be here to present that to you. So without further ado, our first video of 2022, follow us. Ladies and gentlemen, First Sip Cafe. Hi guys, Dominic here. We're excited to be back in 2022 and feature yet another local business in the Uptown Buena Park neighborhood. We're here with Aaron Huang, co-owner of First Sip Cafe. Yes, very excited to be here. Thank you for having me. Thank you for joining us. Of course. So can you tell us a little bit about your cafe? Sure, yeah. Um, so we, we're First Sip Cafe. We opened here on Argyle Street in Uptown uh, four years ago. So we've been here. Uh, we're the first coffee shop in the neighborhood, and it's been really exciting to be in the neighborhood. And everyone's super nice and friendly. That's awesome. And you're you're the only coffee shop on this whole stretch, right? Yes. So that's very exciting. Yes. So come check them out. It's fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. So, Aaron, what is your favorite item on the menu, and your top recommendation for people to try? when they first come to see you? For me personally, I really like the spicy mango latte. It is espresso with milk and then mango syrup and then cayenne pepper, which is really awesome. Has a little bit of a kick. It's very good for summer. But what I would recommend for people is something like that if you're a little bit adventurous. But then we also have the pistachio mint latte and then the ubli latte, which is really popular, Ooh. both of them. So I would recommend both of those for starters. No one's ever disappointed by them, so yeah. I love spicy and I love cayenne, so I, yeah. I, I'm going to have some on that one. That'd be great. It's a good summer one. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. So you mentioned you've been in the neighborhood for four years. What made you choose this neighborhood to open your business? So funny enough, we actually grew up in Uptown and Argyle in particular. So we actually never thought we would be here for this long and especially opening our own business on the street. But we just actually noticed that there was a coffee shop missing on Argyle Street. Like there's just not one here. And it didn't make sense to us because we're so close to the train. There's so much going on around here. There's live music venues and the lake is right by here. But we noticed that there's just a lot of great things in Uptown. And we wanted to be the first coffee shop in Argyle Street. So that was very exciting for us. So you helped fill a void, yeah. you and your family. Yeah, so that was really cool. And especially when we first opened, people came up to us and was like, thank you for opening a coffee shop in the area. Oh, that's awesome. And it's funny because the same was said to us when we opened our real estate business. Yeah. You're like the first round. Really? So oh cool. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so what's your favorite thing about being a part of the Uptown neighborhood and community? I definitely think it's the people. Everyone here is so welcoming and kind and supportive of each other. And even though I grew up in the neighborhood, I, it's definitely not something that I felt super connected to or involved in until we opened First Sip. And it's really cool to see how everyone from the neighborhood come in and cheer each other on and then also check in on each other. There, we've gotten so much support with people checking on us through COVID and just anything that happens. So it's really cool to see how tight-knit Uptown can be. And I don't think people remember that. I feel the same. It's very true. Thank you for sharing. Sure. Aaron, what are your top recommendations for people in the neighborhood to go see or do? But what I really like about Uptown in particular is that there's actually been a lot of public murals that's been popping up in Uptown. So there's a Google map of it and you could look it up and see and do like your own little tour of just public murals in um, Uptown and that's really cool. And then also you have to try one of the restaurants here. We have so much diversity in the neighborhood and there's so many cool restaurants and you know different food for you to try. Right. And then like especially when Argyle Street, so you have to try Beauty's food. And I really like Cafe Hong. Mm. Um, well, yeah. Thanks for sharing. Thank you. Okay, Aaron, my favorite question. If you had one superpower, 
what would it be? Okay, I'm gonna cheat with this one and I want to replicate myself in different versions and then just live live out different lives. Like one will be in Chicago, one will be in New York, one will be overseas somewhere, and one will be traveling and not working. Somehow. <laughs> so living at the same time, just different places, different yeah. Aaron Wonks. Yeah, but like also my memories are interconnected, so it feels like the same life. <laughs> wow, that's the first. Well, thank you for sharing. It's like the matrix, but thank you for sharing. Thank you. Okay, so last question. When are you open? So we're open seven days a week, nine-ish till six. Don't get there exactly at nine because they'll be late. But we're open seven days a week and you can find us on social media and at Percept Deck Cafe. So much fun. Thank you for being our first video of 2022 and for all that you and your sister do in our community, especially if there's no other cafes in this area on the street, especially. Thank, thank you. you. We appreciate it. Awesome. And thank you for joining us for once mentioned again, our first business of 2022. We've got more information, more knowledge, more videos coming your way. And thank you to QHI Media for shooting all of our video shoots. Be safe, be well, stay tuned, and follow us on Instagram and all our social media outlets as well. Stay tuned, everybody. Make it a great day. Here is to sisterhood. And I, I feel part of the sisterhood right now. Yes. Okay. okay. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> up on the truck? Okay. Oh my god. I think I scared him something like that. Okay. Fall guy's coming. Okay, ready?